Hey friends, welcome to the Johnson City Living Podcast, where we learn about the people, places, events, and flavors that make Johnson City just a lovely place to live. I'm your host, Colin Johnson, with the Colin and Carly Group and Keller Williams Realty. If you're interested in buying or selling a home in the area, or if you're looking at investing in a rental property, give us a call at 423-930-8003, and we will look forward to helping you. Now, let's get to today's episode. It's a beautiful day here in Johnson City. It's a little chilly out, oddly, and uh, we've been spoiled a little bit with some warm weather, and now I think it's probably average temperatures, um, but it's, yeah, there's sleep this morning, which is just weird. So we love Johnson City weather because it's always different. It keeps you on your toes. Um, I am super pumped today. We've got Timmy Norman and Angela Bose with Cake Buds on the podcast. Woo! These are some celebrity superstars. If you've watched any cake cooking show anywhere on TV ever, you probably have seen these guys. They get on there and they make some unbelievable stuff and often win, right? We've been fortunate. We yeah. Have. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being local bakers because I love to eat baked oh. goods and yours are top notch. Thank, Thank you, you so you. much. Um, you may have listened to the podcast a few times. Yes. Favorite thing about Johnson City? You already got you got this answer preloaded? Oh, Johnson City is so great with mm-hmm. how many different places you have to eat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Being a college town, there's so much diversity in the foods that we have here. I love it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I think my thing for Johnson City is it's it's Appalachian. Uh-huh. And you have the warmth of Southern people, but it, it's not the backwoods. Yeah. And so it's just like this middle ground that uh-huh. like I love. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great way of putting it because I think we are kind of Appalachian humble, but yeah. yeah, we still got some street cred with people who were on big time TV shows running around. And, um, and then you got the university that brings a lot of yep. activity and mm-hmm. culture in. And so, yeah, I think we're a perfect melting pot for all that really to come are. together and right. we just love people well. And so, yeah, that's awesome. All right, Angela, tell us, you're not a Johnson City native, native, right? No, I'm from Pennsylvania originally. Okay. And then I lived for 18 years in Connecticut, in Ridgefield, Connecticut. And I've been lucky to be here in Johnson City for the last five years. Yeah, and you just woke up one day in Connecticut and you were like, you know, I'm going to go to Johnson City, Tennessee and make it my home. Kind of like that. Um, My husband got transferred here for a job. Okay. And so I just started Googling local bakeries in the area to see. I worked in medical in Connecticut, so I worked for medical for 14 years, but I baked on the side. And my husband was like, oh, you can't keep doing this. You can't be working a normal eight hour job and then coming home and working almost another whole night work getting cakes ready for people because that's my passion Yeah, is to be a creative artist. So when we moved here, I started Googling all the bakeries that were in like a 30 minute radius of me. And of course I came across Timmy's page and I was like, wow, he's actually the, can I say the only bakery in the area that I saw that really had the quality of work that I was looking to be part of. Mm -hmm. So, um, as we were chatting earlier, I met Timmy for coffee, even though I don't drink coffee. (laughs) And now we've spent five years together. We have. Yeah. Yeah. It's been great being part of the Cake Buds team. That's awesome. Yeah. I love it. What did your husband move here for to do? What was his job? Um, job? Well, that job, unfortunately, he's not with that company anymore since COVID hit. That has changed. (laughs) They're lost. But now he's the Oasis Senior Advisor, so he helps families find the perfect living situation for the older families that need to find the right places for them. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's a neat job. Okay. And Timmy, how did you find your way to Johnson City? Like you just mentioned the college. That's what got me here. Uh, I grew up in Eastern Kentucky. Yeah. um, And then I moved here to study graphic design and fine arts. There there wasn't a school near me. And my wife at the time, she had family here. And so we were like, hey, let's go check out that, that area. I came here, graduated with a graphic design degree and just love the area. And I was like, I have to just kind of put my roots here. Um, yeah. You know, like the feel here. Yeah. Not to date you. When did you graduate from ETSU? 2006. Okay. Yeah. So a little while ago. A little while ago. Yeah. Yeah. I and graduated in 96 from UT. So ooh. I'm a little older, but still we'll say it. I think you probably long. look younger though. So no, there's I that. So. I think you're looking young. <laughs> I think you're looking young. And then where, how, how was, 
cake breads created? What was the story yeah. there? I mean, so, it's like graphic design and then, hey, I'm going to bake and graphic design on the cake, I guess. Yeah, so I was working at the time doing medical form design for Mountain States Health Alliance, which was a black and white, <laughs> topping words all day. It was not artistic. <laughs> it was kind of awful. Um, and then I had a son, and for his second birthday, I was like, I'd really love for him to have something cool. At the time, there was Food Network Challenge was the only show on TV where people did cool cakes. And I was like, I would love to do something like that. And I was like, I'm a sculptor, I'm an artist, I can probably figure it out. And so I gave it a shot, made this little train cake, and it was good enough that friends and family just started asking if I could do cakes for them. Yeah. And I started doing that. And then because I work in the marketing department at the hospital, they started asking me to do like cakes for their like ribbon cutting ceremonies for their new hospitals they were building. And so that's where like everything just kind of took off. That's awesome. And I was doing kind of like Angela was doing like medical forms design and then all not doing cakes. And I applied for a graphic design position in the department and I didn't get it. And I was like, it's time to go on and do something that I love. And so I gave a two month notice to train someone to do medical forms design. And then four months later, opened the bakery. So, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. And do you follow Nate Borgazzi at all? Yeah, he I did. Do. A, he had a joke about medical forms. And he's like, every time I go to the doctor, they say, you need to fill out these forms. And he's like, how about I just hold on to these? Because I think you all have a fire every night and burn all the forms. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's kind of true. Because I think they're much safer with me than you guys. Because you keep asking me. I was like, that's hysterical. And that's so, good. so true. And then I'm going... For a graphic artist, medical forms design sounds like a prison to be in. Like, I can only use black and white. Maybe you get to use a font to, or two different. No, here. because, you know, they're very branded. So it's you use their fonts, their style, and you said it perfectly. It was such a prison. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> I got an got 8 by 11 sheet of paper mm -hmm. that I can stay in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds awful for somebody as creative as right. you. Mm -hmm. Now, did both of your parents, like, bake growing up how did we get into the baking space like how did you get your cooking skills? well i'm a country girl from pennsylvania so my grandmother baked my mom bakes but we grew up on a beef cattle farm ah. so anytime that there was daylight outside us children were out working on the farm um so my mom did a lot of baking and she was a great cook mm -hmm. but unfortunately i didn't bake my first cake until after i moved out ah so I had good basic recipes yeah. to follow. Yeah. But man, that first sheet cake with the star tip 21 on there was not cute. <laughs> but it made me hooked. Star tip 21, I love it. Yeah, so I was completely hooked. And I'm happy to have the background of the love of baking. Yeah. But unfortunately, I didn't have many guidance along the way. Yeah. Big farm you grew up on? Yeah, 101 acres, a what? beef cattle farm. How many head of cattle did you guys Oh, we had a lot of beef cattle. We yeah. also did sheep and hogs. Like we did the whole 4-H program. So nice. I was in then all the county fairs and state fairs and I was a local dairy princess. Like I was totally involved. Big time. I, I love it. I, love I married it. the local DJ. Oh. So I did my radio promotion as well. That's pretty <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully you didn't get shunned because you married the DJ. <laughs> well, it took a couple of years, but my family came They're around. They're kind of like, all right, all right, if you're going to help out we on the love farm. Now. Right. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. And then um, where did you get your baking skills yeah, from? So I was always interested in food. Like, I loved cooking. I was a terrible cook at the time. But when I was little, I just, I remember my mom being so welcome to me in the kitchen. So I have pictures of me cooking with my mom. And she yeah. always made our birthday cakes for my brother and I. And my parents were Sunday school teachers, and so they would always bake cakes for every student. Uh -huh. And so that's just where, you know, that grew. Like, I just remember my mom always baking a cake for somebody. That's awesome. Yep. Yeah. I watched my mom bake a lot, and I, I think I broke her heart when I was probably 10, maybe. Like, because my, I think, eighth or ninth birthday, she made me a Spider-Man cake and mm -hmm. a Batman cake. She loved doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she did a great job, and they looked cool. And they tasted okay. But mm -hmm. I was like, one of my friends, I think, had white cake, white icing cakes from like Food City mm -hmm. or Kroger or something. I was like, this is the best cake ever. Aww. And uh, just the buttercream icing. Yeah. And yeah. I just fell in love with it. And I was like, she goes, what kind of cake would you like this year? And I was like, I think I'd like a store-bought cake. Sorry, Mom. And she's Aww. like, okay, we'll, we'll get you one. Yeah. She cried for, you know, a little while, but yeah, I she's can over it now, I yeah. think. That was I like, think. Have you asked her lately? Yeah, I probably, I don't want to, <laughs> you know, reopen that wound. Yeah, I would. Yeah. <laughs> 40 years ago. 
Did I hurt your feelings? Probably. <laughs> Probably. So talk to us a little bit about Cake Buds. Um, where'd you get the name? You know, the name just was something that popped into my head one day. I was thinking about what I would name my, my business. And yeah. I was like, a play on taste buds. I was oh, like, I nice. want to, I want to appeal to people's cake buds. And so that's where it all came into play. Yep. See, and I thought all along it was a, it's, some friends it's a together. It's a friendship thing, yep. But forget that. It's, it's just all, all about, about your tongue, buds. which is way better. Yeah. <laughs> and you've got great. friends yes. that are still right. worried about mm -hmm. taste buds, which is awesome. And then so um, talk to us about how, like, I mean, you, you said you started launching with some cakes for, you know, the the hospital's opening, mm -hmm. but that's a, a far cry from being on TV and like weddings and that kind of stuff. Right. Like how did that, how did that, how did you accelerate to there? I mean, you know, it's the people that you meet in, in those environments. So you're doing, and I've always done sculpted cakes. And so it kind of catches people's attention when it's not a sheet cake yeah. and it's not, you know, a store bought cake. And so it, it catches people's attention and so they're like wow could you make this and I was like absolutely like I've never turned a cake down so like if you want it I'll do it that's awesome um, and so that's just really where it grew I was the first cake I ever made for the hospital was I sculpted the children's hospital what? and so doing something like that can kind of get your name out there you yeah. know, fairly quickly in the area so that's I got cool. really lucky with the style that I did was so unique and different that yeah. people really wanted to experience it do you like use boiled sugar colored dye for the window stuff and I did use sugar for the window and I remember I just did clear sugar and then I did I like used a metal spatula and like did in, indentions in it and then I just painted it with color oh yeah um I think that was the first time I ever used sugar for a cake yeah, because it's a beautiful building and it that is that would be hard to I would love to redo yeah. that building yeah right now Hey, now children's that hospital I'm, people, maybe for like whatever your 20th year right. anniversary, right. you should get cake buds. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I know somebody. You know, like, there, isn't there tenure coming up? It Is that be, this year? Yeah. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I should reach out to them. Yeah. You know what I we should do for you all? Tenure. Is make you a couple That's thousand dollar cake. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, nice. Yeah, make that a, call, okay? Okay, yes, sir. <laughs> uh, let me get on it after, right after the podcast. Or we could take a commercial break. Right after this break. <laughs> Um, but you guys have a storefront as well. Yes. I don't think a lot of people know that. Like, there's another side of the building. We drive up Roan Street. You drive and up. see Cake Buds, and you're like, oh, those are those guys. Mm -hmm. and, and there's just no parking on uh, South Roan Street side. So no, on zero the state park. of Franklin, yep. there's the downtown square parking lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good luck finding a spot Three. in there occasionally. Yep. Well, you come I'm early enough. That's right. <laughs> That's well, right. don't forget, we also have the parking garage now. We do. So we're only a couple blocks from the parking garage. Now was... that the summer is coming up, mm -hmm. you can enjoy downtown, go for a nice walk with your ice cream or cupcakes mm -hmm. and enjoy the park. Yeah. We're really not that far from free parking um, next to Southern Craft by us. This is the big parking lot mm -hmm. and the parking garage. Yeah. I think, I forget what it was we were on. We were on a tour of something last fall, maybe? It was like you went from different... What was it? Um, anyway, we went around, Carly and I, and um, some friends, and you went to different vendors, and we definitely came in there, and I didn't even know you guys had ice cream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so it was just really, really special. So tell us about the store in-house. What all do you carry? What can we just come over and get on the regular? Oh, yeah. If we want to get our cake buds all fired up. Yeah, so yeah. so many things you can walk in and enjoy. Right. From cake pops to the daily cupcakes, pre-made cakes that we have out daily. Um, they sell out quickly, so most people order ahead of time for yeah. cakes but we do always have the pre-made things. Mm -hmm. We make French macarons. Mm -hmm. um, we have cookies, coffee cake, uh, focaccia bread, yep. bagels. We're, we're really so trying things. to focus a lot more lately in doing more like pastry style uh -huh. and baked goods. We've yeah. been a few bakeries that's closed nearby. And so we know that people went there for those things. So we're trying to you know focus on that as well as like really focus on Appalachian inspired ingredients uh -huh. in this latest show that I did, I really focused on that. And so right now you can come in, you can taste all the stuff that I did on that show. And they're, they're all very like, we have a Tennessee jam cake and a banana cake and a coconut cake. So things like that, like, are just so like nostalgic for the area. Uh -huh. And so we really try to bring those flavors into the things we do. That's awesome. And that's part of our cupcake case mm -hmm. that you can walk in and purchase. Right. So you can just come in and get a cupcake, mm -hmm. maybe with a little ice cream on it. 
You can in a do bowl. A on the side. You guys have a bowl, and you yeah. can just and then mm -hmm. take it and walk around downtown. Exactly. Right. Check out some stuff. Maybe go to Founders Park or. Mm -hmm. Or King Commons and just yeah, sit and course. eat an unbelievable cupcake. Or after you have a nice meal out, come mm -hmm. over for your yeah. your snack afterwards. Um, I'm going to put you on the spot, Angela. What's your oh. favorite thing you guys make right now? Oh, well, to me, one of the dishes he just made on the latest show is our big baked banana cake. Mm -hmm. um, and that banana cake, mm, and it has a crunch layer, so it's not only a banana cake. So a lot of people are like, oh, banana muffin. No, it's no. light and fluffy. Mm -hmm. Everything we make yep. is so fluffy. Yeah nothing like a muffin but then it also has a crunch layer so it's like potato chips and pretzels and macadamia nuts and then a caramel icing hello sign me up it's so good yum that sounds good so it's good. not like your basic grandma's banana cake it's kicked it's, up and it's legit it is yeah okay and then what do you what's your favorite thing mine right now is a buttermilk funfetti cake that Ooh. has a cookie dough filling oh, a yeah. chocolate ganache and candied potato chips so it's like i call it the perfect late night stack because it it's like all the things oh my gosh that's sweet and salty yeah now can you get these in cupcake form or just you can mm -hmm. cupcake form we're also rolling out um cake jars where you could get those as like you know they're got a lid on them those ship well or store well so that'd be a great option for people oh mm -hmm. and you can get a five pack five pack yeah so one flavor of each of the cakes that he made on the show mm -hmm. five Just pack so help you, know. you get a if you have a six pack it yeah. takes you down to a one pack <laughs> one one closer to the six pack yeah. one closer to the six pack we have um six pack shaping cake yeah i think you could make mm -hmm. that if you could come up with a cake or a cupcake that would give you a six pack when you eat it that would be i mean Watch well, out. We'll work on that. We've done some healthy things before, like the sure. protein. Yeah. We've sold protein some healthy things. Before. Yeah, we had like some cereal at well, one point. Well, you know what? It's butter and, and sour cream and a lot of regular cream. It's your dairy of the day. Yeah. You yeah. got to have a little dairy, I think. Just cut out the fruit. You know, I get my dairy in a, in a latte form <laughs> frequently. <laughs> but ice cream is a great form oh, of dairy yeah. as well. And this Just sounds, making sure we keep the bones healthy. Yeah, you got to. Mm -hmm. yeah, I love it. Butter cream, does that count? Yeah, it's butter. Yeah. So Real you, butter. Yeah, I think we should inject ourselves with that. At least a lot we of use butter. so much butter. Yeah. And plus uh, yeah. working in the bakery, such a good workout. I mean, when you carry in all the butter, all the flour, flour. you know, because you buy in bulk. Right. You guys are close this to the train. You could have just train loads of that stuff dropped off. Pretty much. That'd get be the, probably get the train going in yeah. Johnson City again. We could get your little cake buds uh forklift you just run down there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> just run, run it back up. <laughs> That may, that may save some cash. Um, just had to get the train to stop down there. And I don't know if people downtown would like that. I don't think so. Hong sent us. Yeah. Um, what, you also teach people how to bake, right? Uh, one of my big passions is mm -hmm. to teach other people what I love to do. Growing up, I learned pretty much just self-taught. Yeah. Barnes & Noble. You know, I went there when people used to go right? there a lot. Right, because this is before, like... Internet was real popular. Yeah, like YouTube yeah. wasn't a big thing when we were growing up, right? And so now you can figure out how to do... Right. That was my next question. I was like, but anyway, go ahead. Sorry. So um, we hold all kinds of different classes. Yep. This coming, not this Friday, not tomorrow, but the week after, we're doing a class. And then we have two more classes the following week also, mm -hmm. and then a couple in May. Um, but we teach French macarons, which is the hardest cookie to make. It is. A lot of people who come to class say that they've tried it and they've failed mm -hmm. several times. Yeah. And I teach them all the tips and tricks I have up my sleeve. How to make mm -hmm. them all colorful and And we make pretty. them in class. Yeah. So they get to learn step by step hands-on and then they go home with a box of macarons mm -hmm. and then we get pictures from people from years ago who came to class yep. and they always still send us pictures mm -hmm. we do cake decorating classes we just had a couple come yesterday with their kid to meet timmy oh. after watching the show yeah. and they've been to classes but the son hadn't that's cool and um chocolate peanut butter class we make fudge and cookies and mm -hmm. ganache over the cake oh my goodness um, we teach how things. to pipe flowers everything that people love to mm -hmm. do and what we love to do, we love to encourage other people to grow and try new things. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. Where do I sign up? On the website, mycakebuds.com. Mycakebuds.com. Yeah. And how far out are you like booked out for these classes? Well, sometimes do they fill up we have quickly? a few spots left, okay. but usually they do sell out. Mm -hmm. But grab a friend or just come on your own. You'll meet new friends there. Gotcha. And it's always a great time. We do a lot of team network building also yeah. mm -hmm. so people come in with their organization yeah. and have a really fun time right it takes a lot of ingredients and people mm -hmm. to build a team or a cake yeah. right and right. work it all out we're all a little mm -hmm. different 
Yeah. We're not all butter. We're not all sugar. We're not all flour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I love it. That's a great thought that I hadn't even yeah. dreamt up. So that's awesome that you guys did. Um, do you like to teach as well, Tim? I do like to teach. Um, Maybe a little busy? I like to teach things that are a little more complex. So because I love to sculpt, I really like want to show people that side of the yeah. cake world. But, you know, Angela really likes to show them like all those things that get you there. That, yeah. like Start you out on the ground level and like gets you there. And so, so you're um, advanced. The experience necessary. And then after you with me for a couple of times, then you move on. To we'll go on. Gotcha. You're yeah. the gatekeeper. Yes. Once we get a few Angela classes and we can go hang out with Tim. Perfect. Again. Now, did you, do your parents have like artistic, like sculpting? I just don't. No. That's, that's something that's, I feel like, a huge art and a gift, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like from the Lord. I don't know how people, you go to museums and you see these unbelievably sculpted mm -hmm. things and you're just, mm -hmm. I don't even know how that works. Talent. Right. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. So where do you feel like that came from? I don't know. Actually, my parents say that they don't really know people in the family that are artistic. I have a cousin that's artistic, but he gets it from his dad's side. Uh -huh. And so but we don't really know you're where, like, where mine where came, came from. from. That's cool. Well, I think it's awesome that you've figured that out and tapped into it and now honing it. And I'm sure as you learn more and more, you just continue to get better at it. Oh, yeah. I love learning. I'm always trying to learn new things with, yeah. with cakes and new ingredients and things like that. So I just love that part of it. Yeah, yeah. never stop learning. Like mm -mm. We were always trying crazy things yep. to mix recipes mm -hmm. and things like mm -hmm. that. It's like, how can you make it better? How can you make it more efficient? It's just mm -hmm. fun to keep... Right, then you got to push the envelope a little bit yeah. too. And like, yeah. how, what are we going to make that's a little different? Like, right. bigger, better, and new. We got a barbecue bean cake. You can try it. And you're like, mm -hmm. I don't know about that. I do like black bean brownies. Oh, those, yeah. those, those are, are good. good. That could yeah. be good. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about TV shows. Mm -hmm. Sure. When was your first one you went on? I filmed my first one in 2018. Okay. Um, well, now that feels like a long time, but it didn't. Yeah. Just it a couple years six ago. Six years ago. Yeah. Um, yeah. Filmed my first one. It was a very random, like I got a phone call one day from an LA number. I didn't answer it. <laughs> Sent it to voicemail. That's and, gotta be spam. And it was this lady. She was like, my name's Megan. I'm from, from Food Network. Came across your social media. Was just curious if you'd be interested in applying for this show. And so I applied and got, got selected. That's cool. Uh, Tell us about that. Like stepping out, you know, you're a cake guy in John, mm -hmm. Little Johnson City, yeah. like, hey, from Eastern Kentucky, right. right? Let's go to LA yeah. and bake cakes. That was a little fearful, I'm sure. It is. Well, when I first made my first cake for my son yeah. and decided, like, I really love this. In 10 years, I want to be on my first cake show. And so... Really? The so show... you, like, had that idea yeah. from early on. And the show aired nine and a half years later. What? So it was... Before my ten year, I got there. Isn't that cool? How it's wild. Like, you put things into the universe mm -hmm. and the, the attention, and then the Lord just come around and says, "Here you go. I'm going to help you out." And yeah. boom. Yeah, you do the work, yep. and it'll, it'll happen. Right. And then I'll never forget. Like I went there, I was so nervous, um, and I I really felt like I was going to be great. I was like, I can, I can do this TV thing, and I was the first one eliminated, and I was like, Oh no! Like, do I even tell people that I was on this show? Like. <laughs> I can just go back. I can Food say Network that thing. Food Network went down for a couple of months. Don't watch it. It's right. Yeah. Like, just don't mention it. But then, like, I got home and I like settled in. I was like, you know what? It's the experience, and like, someone had to be the first one to go home. It's fine. And so, it, there was a great response from the community. Yeah. And, you know, I was like, well, I'm glad that people enjoyed yeah. it, regardless. I, think I remember that. And then, I don't remember you going off. I thought you won the whole thing, but. I do remember, no, I didn't remember going I didn't, on the that show. One. Okay. Then I got another call um, yeah. right after you started, right? I got another call to do one, and that was the springboard. I got paired up with a great team that we worked well together, and we were the um, runners-up of the show, and then it just started this trend. She and I went right after that to film one the next month. We won. I went with another person and we won another one. And then her, me, her, and my dad got called to go do one. We won that one. So it was like this, I was like so on, glad yeah. that I didn't yeah. give up after the first one. And I right. was like, let's, let's, let's give just it learn shot. from that and yeah. move on. And I felt so great about that. Tenacity and like mm -hmm. stick to itness. Mm -hmm. I love I'm glad it. he didn't give up either because it's been 
so much fun. Well, I see the common denominator and it's sitting in front of me. I think oh, when you came right. on board, right? I mean, right. you were the catalyst of victory. <laughs> I, uh, hopefully you got a, a healthy share of those uh, winnings. Well, just to we go in and experience it all is yeah. amazing. Talk about that process, right? Because mm -hmm. you go, I mean, it's one thing to make a cake in your own kitchen. Right. It's your store. Mm -hmm. You know where everything's With at. no timer up on the wall. No timer <laughs> yeah. up and on the wall. Down no down person coming over and, and going, oh. in your faces. Yeah. And, oh, and, yeah. So and messing with you a little bit. Like, like, oh, is that enough butter? Is that too much? Is, you know, mm -hmm. is that amount of sugar, right? Mm -hmm. You know, just messing with you. So talk about that process. Like, yeah. what is all of that? Like, what does it look like? That's hard. So especially like the first show I was ever on, I was fortunate whenever I took her, I was like, here's what to expect. Mm -hmm. But the first one I went on, they walked us in the kitchen 20 minutes before they started filming. And it was like, okay, here's the butter, flour, sugar. And like, you're just in awe of the environment that you can't. Yeah, you're looking around and like, yeah, yeah you can't have retain a counter, that. But yeah. mm -hmm. and, and so I was like, okay, they're going to walk us through the kitchen and we just have to like, focus like yeah. we have to pull in everything what we see what we need and just start making mental checklists we know we need butter flour and sugar we know where it's at now mm -hmm. and so it it's learning that environment that is so challenging and probably having to turn off like the cameras yep. and the performance and mm -hmm. we got to focus on the product yep. because we want to win yep. right so the first time i was on tv with timmy to compete was great because he's seasoned Mm -hmm. He's such a great preparer that, you know, he's like, okay, this is your timeline. This is what my goals are for the comp to complete the competition piece. This is what he's going to do. But working together every day, mm -hmm. he can read if I need help, ah. you know, so we can, I don't have mm -hmm. to be like, because you never want to show drama on TV. Right? That's what they want because to if, show. That's what they know, want. I know, I know. And I'm, I'm not that kind of person. You're just over there crying? I don't know where the <laughs> Yeah, so like, I haven't cried. Well, I almost cried one time. But. Almost. The first time, almost Oh, cried. my gosh. So, Timmy, have you cried on TV yet? Um, watch the newest season of Is It Cake on Netflix and let me know if I've cried on TV <laughs> <Yeah>. before. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm so, sure it's great. It's very special for the family. But yeah. I don't want to spoil anything. Don't no, spoil it. I haven't watched it I'm excited it yet. to watch it. And yes, Yeah, so your latest sweet. one is Is It Cake? Is It Cake. Mm -hmm. Is the name season of the show. Mm -hmm. And you were in... LA for 29 days. 29 days. And you yeah. just left Angela to run it all. I was yeah, like, me and the girls, we just we do it. Just kept going. Actually, it hummed like a, like a top. Oh, yeah, we had a great time. We're 29 really days later, I was like, do I have to come back? They're like, like actually, we got this, bro. Okay, good to know. Wow, you have a really huge gulp of cake next week. Yes, please you come back. back. <laughs> yes. We have a giant mountain that you're making. Um, okay. So, what was one of your all's first jobs? I want to know, like, where where did you start learning how to work? Because you probably were a farm. Right? Oh, yes. Ever since I could walk, this I think is hard work. I had chores before kindergarten. What time are you guys getting to the to the store? Well, we're fortunate that we have a baker that gets there earlier than us because we're more of, you know, on right. the decorating side now. Right. So we both get there 7 to 7.30 every morning. So Baker, nothing... guy, gal gets there at what time? Yeah, she gets there at 6.30. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and she's then... got an hour baking. So the cake's already starting to cool by the time we walk in. Mm -hmm. So we go in, we throw them in the fridge real quick to finish while we make the buttercream yeah. and get the colors all ready or any supplies we need. That sounds and it fantastic. works out perfectly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, and then you then work till... people come in different times. The, yeah, and the hours of the store or what? We're open 8 to 6, Monday through Friday, and then 8 to 4 on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. That's a lot, right? I mean, mm -hmm. being an entrepreneur, too, that's a lot of work. And then you, yeah, yeah. You, you're not only decorating cakes and you're hitting the road mm -hmm. you're running payroll you're managing right. you're doing yeah. hr and stuff i was here. the first person who wasn't family that he right. hired and now yep. he has a whole team yep how many people work on the team well oh, now i gotta do math three seven <laughs> well uh-oh somebody's getting off me <laughs> yeah nine nine nine, total. nine. that's yeah. awesome yeah yeah you know it's crazy that five years ago when he hired me i was the first non-family employee right. and now there's nine of us that is cool mm -hmm. yeah yeah and it's fun how you continue to grow and mm -hmm. what do you feel like the future looks like for you guys are we going to just stay at this one spot or are we going to franchise out we're going to open other cake buds all oh, across the know, country there's things that have been in the talks yeah we have mm -hmm. talks of things and we don't you know we're just trying to settle on the right thing we don't want to rush into anything okay. but yeah i mean if you would have asked me three years ago if I ever was going to expand I would have said no but now I'm like I don't know like my 
my thoughts are shifting a bit and how I feel about growing is, is changing. So maybe. Yeah. yeah. It just depends on if the right opportunity. Right. Location. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. the cool thing now is, you know, you can be mobile and work. Right. From pretty much anywhere. I mean, right. it's hard to do that and sculpt a cake anywhere. But right. you could have, oh, okay, I'm going to have a place in Charleston or someplace yeah. you want to go have another home. And, well, and, definitely something that's like a passion of mine is like taking these Appalachian flavors to places that don't really experience them. Yeah. Because I feel like it's it's so amazing and it's such good food that, you know, bringing that to somewhere else would is is kind of my draw now. And so I think, I think you could see it in the future. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's exciting. Mm-hmm. I'm he excited. so much you. stuff up his sleeves. You I never know. I know wearing short ones today, but there's a lot There's up a there. lot up there. Mm-hmm. He's always mm-hmm. thinking and, yes. and growing. And then being exposed to the other bakers mm-hmm. across right. the country through your, through these TV shows, it just mm-hmm. expands your mind. And so. Oh, for sure. So yeah. many great friends. Yeah, so many great friends from this, these mm-hmm. TV shows. Do you have any, so I have a business coach. I love to death. He's great. Chad, thanks for all you do. But um, do you guys have like some sort of coaching or how do you continue to grow and think about like business it's, opportunities? Yeah, it's and, bouncing stuff off of each other. Yeah. 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 And I just have a mind, like I'm just always circling. And so... I just love daydreaming, and mm-hmm. so like it just grows from there. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's exciting. I'm excited. Um, and tell people where they can find your latest show coming up. When's it air? It's on Netflix. It, it aired uh, March 29th, so you can stream the whole season. Okay. Um, Is it Cake season three? Yeah. Um, it's so much fun. Remember the good old days where we had to wait till next Friday right. when the next show comes out, oh. or when Netflix you had to order the the DVD. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's right. Yeah. Or go to Redbox. Yep. And oh, like mess yeah. with the, the sun's coming in. I can't see the yeah. screen. And yeah. yeah. So different now. Just with the click of the button. Do you have the Cake Buds season four? Yeah. Yeah. No. We've got Not The anymore. kids have got it made. Now, I, I will say that um, we were watching some stuff, I think through Apple or something. And they yep. are kind of making you wait they are. until next, yeah. next week you'll mm-hmm. see the next version but with the of instant, Ted Lasso or whatever. With the instant watching on Netflix, you can get your cake jars, your cupcakes of each of the flavors, and then as you finish that show, you can eat that and then watch the next one, and then you have that 45-minute break is so you can brilliant. make some room for the next one. Yeah, this I is know. brilliant. You guys should do that. We should post yeah. it like, all right, today's show's coming out, and you could like do yep. a weekly series. Do you already do that? Yeah. Uh, yep. Well, that was a great idea, and I'm glad you brought it to fruition, because that's half the battle, right? Coming up with a good idea and then making it happen. Yeah. Okay, so it wasn't always, it it wasn't always easy breezy, right? Mm -hmm. Like, what what are some of the hard things that we've had to do? And now I'm super excited. You guys don't see this, but we just had some cake artists walk in with some podcast cupcakes. There you go. How awesome is that? I'm super excited. There you go, Colin. Woo! Colin was saying, where's my snacks? Look so, at this. These, Told you they were on the way. These ones here are part of the show, so you'll get this. Holy of all of cow. We're on the YouTube, so they can see all this awesome stuff. <laughs> Mitch, is that going? Yes. These are beautiful. Holy, this is awesome. Awesome. So if you use your imagination a little bit, this one is the roller skate. Oh, <laughs> roller skate <laughs> made with real ball bearings. So right. that, that is the very first one that he Thank did. Thank you so much for coming in. You guys are awesome. Thanks, you guys. And Roller skate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing this is the confetti. This right here is the one with oh, the chocolate on okay. it. Yep. That's my favorite. That was the one I was like there. super excited about. Yeah. Okay. Give that a try. Which one's your favorite in in the box, Angela? That was <sighs> that one's yours, right? Is Probably. Yours? What's that? Yeah, one? That's, that's the, the banana that's one. The banana. Oh, that's the banana mm-hmm. one. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna get super messy so with that one now, but I'm yeah. I'm gonna text you and tell you how great they all are. Yeah. Thank you. So if you don't want if you don't want to get messy, what you do is you take your cupcake after you unwrap it, take off the bottom and put it on top so you have a sandwich. I don't know who came up with that idea. It's a genius idea, right? Isn't it yeah. crazy? And like some even people that you're uh, eating we're going things. for it. We're going for it. Mitch should say we gotta eat it. So this is awesome. This is candied. Did you say potato chip? Yep. Yes. It's a buttermilk confetti cake, chocolate ganache, edible cookie dough, and candied. Potato chips. How do you, you know these like sprinkles as the yeah mm-hmm. as the yeah. Uh, the cake is all kind of modeled with this just beautifulness. Oh, yes. here went some of my potato chips. Oh my gosh! So good candy it, potato chips. Who would have thought? thought How did right? you come French. up with that idea? I I wanted a salty element inside of my cake, and I knew that if I put potato chips in there without some sort of coating on it, that mm. it would get soggy. 
it would not be crunchy. So coating it's almost it. like a cereal of some yeah. sort. You know, you're kind of like, this is so good. I'm going to get messy. Here we go. <laughs> you guys can talk about what I'm eating and or talk about the rest of the cupcakes while I eat one of these. Yeah. So the we're going to get people in here eating these things. Or something. So the great thing about our lineup of cupcakes this month is it is inspired by the Netflix show. So people can really try those flavors, especially if they're watching the show, they can come and pick up those cupcakes and eat those along with with that episode. So it's a lot of fun um, to experience the flavors that you see the judges eating. Mm. So it's really cool. Yeah, you feel like you're a judge. I feel very blessed right, right now. Thank you all so much. You're welcome. This. So delicious. This is fantastic. The I'm picking up the um, the notes of the ganache chocolatey mm -hmm. kind mm -hmm. of thing. And then you've got um, the cookie dough. It looks like just a glob on top, but you taste it throughout the whole thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. How does that even happen? It, well, this is a brown buttered cookie dough. So also ah. adds like the really nuttiness, yeah. which really brings that chocolate to life. So mm -hmm. it's it's a really in-depth flavor. It is so good. I'm I'm setting it now because I'm going to eat it all here in a minute. <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you. But okay. that's the kind of fun things we get to do every day is mm -hmm. come up with great things that go together. Right. And that are a little different. You know, it's not just a chocolate cupcake with chocolate icing, yeah. which is really good. But when you do candied pecans or walnuts on there and a brownie it just makes it a whole new level mm -hmm. that is super cool and i, I would i'd love to be come to um one of the uh, brainstorming sessions one day and watch you guys go all right we got skittles and like we're thinking about maybe some ice cream flavored something and what can we how can we make it you know i don't know i'm just throwing it, out it stuff. is a lot like that yeah so it's it's like and then you make it and you're like this is absolutely the worst thing we've ever seen <laughs> no <laughs> never no, no we're experienced <laughs> yeah. timmy's like colin we're not idiots. at one point yes <laughs> not anymore yeah. but we do that pretty much seasonally yeah yeah okay. every season we sit down and we're like how can we make something bigger badder better Mm. I love it. Mm -hmm. So what, do you have any summertime experiences coming up that you're kind of already exper experimenting with, like a lemon chiffon or a key lime pie? Or The key lime's always yeah, great. It's yeah, popular. It's hard to beat yeah. key lime anything. It really anything is. Anything this with strawberries also oh, popular. Yeah. There's strawberry passion fruit, strawberry yeah. coconut. Yep. You should partner with Scott Strawberries and oh, have yeah. a Scott Strawberry. Yep. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. We've partnered with some of the strawberry farms locally before yeah. with strawberry mm -hmm. pies that people mm -hmm. could get recipes and yeah. make them at home. Yep. So My mom that's used really to make a strawberry do. pie. We used to go hand pick Scott strawberries. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you ever do that when you were here? I, I have not. I haven't no. since I've been here, but it's on my list. Mm -hmm. it, it it was, yeah. It used to be right where Strawberry Field is, um, and we'd go pick strawberries, and yeah. I'd eat more. I'd come out of there just, like, bloated from eating so many strawberries, and I think my dad was shaking his head like, I told you not to eat so many. But a warm, fresh strawberry from the field, nothing beats it. And it's, that little bit of dirt. Yeah, and it's just, yeah, that, that's what you should come like, What's that granular good. texture well, I'm that's getting? The dirt. That's, that's dirt. Yeah, that would be <laughs> dirt. And it's good for you. Yeah, you get minerals and, and the earth. That's right. That's right. <laughs> um, well, I'm just super excited. We, oh, um, let's get back. So let's go back. Yeah. It's not all been cupcakes and dreams. It's been hard right. work and yeah. tough, yeah. difficult times. So what are some of the adversities that you could talk about maybe that would help somebody else who's starting a, a baking company or even an mm -hmm. entrepreneur out there who's struggling a little bit. Yeah, I mean, being an entrepreneur is like so hard and you don't know it till you're in it. Yeah. Um, so I've always said that you just gotta have a support system. Like really, even if it's just someone that you can tell the ugly to, like yeah. you need that. You need that person that you can just say like, this part of it is like really killing me this week. Yeah. And so finding those people that you can lean on is very important and just, I say if you don't have a business yet, like just prepare yourself, mm -hmm. like really mentally prepare yourself right. that it's going to be a grind always. Yeah. And so just go in knowing that, go in just just knowing um, I'm going to have to grind it out for a long time and then settle into that and then find people like Angela that comes in and can really make you better and, and just find those people that you can really depend on. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think... Um it's neat to find a partner or find some people and teammates that it's not just one plus one equals two. It's like one plus one equals three, five, yes. mm -hmm. 10. Mm -hmm. It's just super cool. The synergy that you can get by letting go of like, I mean, for you, you had yeah. your vision and you're like, mm -hmm. okay, I want to do it this way. But then you can only go so far. You can only get, so you hit the limit, you hit the ceiling. Right. And then you're like, all right, I can head on Angela. And then 
we can mm -hmm. go and now we're like okay i'm letting yeah. go of what i want it to be and i'm letting right. it kind of morph into right where it's gonna i think it's where a lot of business owners struggle they they have their their vision and they they don't really branch out from that and it's we have brainstorming sessions like you said early like it's real like we sit down and we're all like okay what can we do here right and it, and it's coming up with new ideas like before we brought in ice cream or before we started doing pastries that, that's a group decision and i think it's really important as a business owner that you're listening to the people around you that can tell you what they think because sure. they're they're not looking at it you know with the same lens you are Mm -hmm. Yeah, hundred mm -hmm. percent, and um, and having that buy-in on your team. Mm. I mean, yeah, because if you're like, I'm bringing an ice cream, and they're like, we all do not want to deal with cold. Well, ice they cream. begged for ice cream, you oh, know. Yeah. They begged. So, yeah. I, ice I, cream, I, you scream, we I all scream for I ice cream. I ate ice cream today, so yeah. you know, I'm a quality control person. Well, you got to check the product. Check. Yeah. I do a lot of quality control. Yeah, and for you guys, you can't see these two, but they're extremely fit and thin. <laughs> and if I worked here and looked at. Them, I'm saying the workout you get daily it just burns it off. Really mm -hmm. helps, I think. Do you like, ever go to oh. lunch or like oh, yeah, yeah. you guys Actually. eat lunch out occasionally? It's not just cupcakes and like. Well, the great thing is we really are a cake family. Like okay. we go on a vacation together. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. When Timmy was traveling to Orlando, the girls and I were like, "Why don't we go to Orlando?" So we did a date in Disney. We saw him for like 45 minutes the whole trip. Nice. And so we really are a family. We get mm -hmm. along so well. That's cool. So we are really lucky. That's super cool. I think that's a lot of fun. That sounds like you guys have a blast. Mm -hmm. really. Yeah. Um, how can our listeners connect with you guys online? Yeah, some of the best ways is our Instagram and Facebook and also TikTok. Um, CakeBudsJC on Instagram and TikTok and just CakeBuds on Facebook. Also our website where you can online order you can submit custom quote forms you can find the classes mycakebuds.com is the place for all that information gotcha and if you're like i want you to make me an elephant cake or a mm -hmm. brick wall or a chair or yeah. is it i want to know if it's cake or not like yeah. it's a table or something crazy well that's when they can go to the website mycakebuds.com there's a place you can do an online submission form attach any photos for inspiration mm -hmm. if you have a favorite dog you want him to sculpt out a cake or anything at all um mm -hmm. That's Even a great from a, idea. a kid's favorite little toy to anything, and that way he can give you a quote, and everything goes directly to Timmy. What's the craziest cake you've ever made? Oh, I had this quote. What was the cake I just recently made, and I was like, that's the one that is now the craziest thing I've ever done? No, he's oh done a lot of crazy gosh. ones. Which one is that? Oh, I don't remember now. What was the one before that one? Well, I, I'll tell you one I did this week that's kind of crazy. I did a hearse, a sculpted hearse, yes. with a gurney with someone laying on it. They were covered little, up, but they wanted to see their, their feet piece. because they, they're, they, I don't know what you're called. They were, they were they a corner? A yeah. corner? Yeah, I think they were. So Corner's birthday? Yeah. I'm not sure exactly, but uh, that'd be my guess. Now, hopefully, right? <laughs> yep. You're like, what are you guys doing with this cake? I don't, you know. <laughs> Or well, if we're celebrating well, somebody down. But we get a lot of great, crazy requests like That's that. That's crazy. And it's really fun. One time we got, I got asked to sculpt a person. Oh, yeah, a bust of a person. A bust of a person who was their, was it realtor or what mortgage they, broker? An accountant. I'm an accountant. Sure. It was just someone they knew. Yeah. An acquaintance. And I got like this little blurry, like, <laughs> hidden picture of them that I had this, yeah. And and you're like, I got to work off like of if this. I, if I that, took your picture like right now, yeah. that's what he got. Like, yeah, kind of I got you. So make this person out of cake. And then they showed up and surprised them with a cake of themselves. Hey, look, I got you a cake of me. Yeah. And they're like, that's super creepy. Thank yeah. you very right. much. Yeah. And where'd you get the picture? And where do I cut it? <laughs> yeah. Like, I which part? Do I cut your head off first? Is that what you're saying here? I don't know. <laughs> but but it's, like, it's really fun, though. We get a it's lot so of pets. It's so fun. Yeah. People have their pets made out People of People love having their time. pets made. See, when you said that, I was like, that would be awesome. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I think that's And if that's you go into the cool. storefront, the dog Smokey is Smokey. in there. Yes. Yeah, he's in there. Huge. Yeah, that's awesome. And like the whole thing is edible. Its eyes are lollipop, sugar, like the teeth are fondant. Everything mm -hmm. is completely edible except mm -hmm. the structure. Which yeah. is, yeah, you don't eat yeah. that probably. Mm -hmm. and people um, love their dogs. How long is a cake good for? Like, let's say you made us a cake today and it's, I mean, like. A lot goes into that. So, like, if it's a cake that's covered in fondant or modeling chocolate, it lasts a lot longer than just a buttercream cake. it's kind of sealed cake. up a little bit from yeah, the environment. Yeah, I'd say once something's covered in fondant and modeling chocolate, you've got a week and a half probably you could eat on it. Okay. Um, we try to, like, do things like the day they're going out or the day before just because we want it as fresh as possible. Mm -hmm. But you can always store that 
I mean, people freeze their, their wedding cake That's for true. a year, yeah. you know, yeah. and it does still taste good. Yeah. As long as you so store odd. it properly, Gotta it store can it be properly. good for a yeah. while. Gotcha. I never keep them more than two days, but that's because... <laughs> They're I'm gone. quality control, you right, know? Right, right. Your <laughs> husband and you guys are knocking it out. Yeah. Like, we don't want this sitting around. Right. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. And then they can connect with you downtown at your storefront, oh, right? They can yeah. walk in anytime, Colin. Anytime. I'm going to mm -hmm. probably start walking in all the time. Nice. It, Please do. It may just have to be a regular stop right after the podcast. Mitch, you want to go get a cupcake after the podcast? Maybe a four every week? Yeah. We can just do that. A little six-pack. It's perfect. <laughs> six-pack. We'll be working right. on There's, six there's your six-pack. I know you're yes. in the six-packs. Yes. Yeah. Six packs, I hear. Yeah. The other kind. It's perfect. <laughs> um, what gets you guys fired up? Like, you're like, whoa, let's go. Like, I just can't wait. I'm excited. Well, Is it when the camera says go, you're on, the clock starts on your show, I, and you got to go, go, yeah. go? I'm such a competitive person. Like, yeah. I, I thrive off of competition. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. when I'm competing, I'm just, like, on the whole time. I love it. Yeah. Same. How about you, Angela? Yeah, I mean... I just love the thrill of people, whether you're walking in with one person's birthday cake or surprising mm -hmm. a group of people. Um, it's always so much excitement to see the smiles on their face. And yeah. that, that's what keeps you alive inside is the happiness that we bake for other people. Yeah. Isn't that the best? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think. I mean, look how happy you were when we just walked in with cupcakes. Like, I almost so picked my pants. It was so, I was so excited. Like, I was like, what? I know. So now, Carly, we got cupcakes. And so she's going to be super excited yeah. when I bring them home to my wife. And. My son, he'll be just as super excited. And my other one's coming home from school tonight, too. So oh, perfect night for cupcakes. It's perfect night yeah. for so cupcakes. So if you fill back that one at the shop, it'll be like oh, yeah, a whole I, pack. I just kinda, yeah, I'll sneak that one in there. Yeah. Um, well, anything else I forgot to ask you guys? You were like, oh, I wish I could share this. We just really love everything we can do for downtown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Being part of down here, downtown here is great. Right. Being part of the culture and the environment, it's always been wonderful. And the love that we see for Timmy mm -hmm. after every show or just every day. Right. People come in to get pictures with him all the time. That's and cool. they get so excited yeah. to meet somebody who's been on TV. Mm -hmm. And they just really appreciate the work and talent that he has. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That makes I you didn't feel... bring her here to be my hot man. How's that make you feel, Timmy? Makes me feel great. I mean, yeah. maybe five more years. Is that good? <laughs> yes, <laughs> Please keep coming back. Yeah, yeah. so that's awesome. Um, all right, speed round. Mm -hmm. Where are you going to get a cheeseburger? Go, Angela. Oh, that new place just opened up. Moose something? Moo oh, yeah. Moose. Yeah, Blue Moose. Uh, Blue Moose? Yeah, yeah. Yep. I, my daughter went yep. there yesterday. Says it's amazing. Yeah. Burger Tim and Barrel. Burger and Barrel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pizza. I make homemade pizza every weekend, she every does. Friday night. What's your address? We'll get the pot. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Where are you For getting me, pizza? it's Fox's Pizza. They have the... Um, I think Danny. No, no, no. I do the, the pepperoni sticks. Pepperoni Once sticks? Once a week, I eat a whole thing of pepperoni sticks because yeah. I just... Timmy eats so healthy, except when it comes to Fox's Pizza Sticks. I'm like, I just need those. Yeah, you just, just kind of got to change the why. oil and like yeah. re 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 mm -hmm. Yeah, get re greased up for the yeah. week. That's fun. Um, coffee shop. Where are you going for I coffee? I don't drink coffee, remember? But Tea I love shop. Blue Moon's um, chai latte. Chai latte at Blue Moon. Mm -hmm. uh, Dos Gatos. Dos Gatos. Drip coffee. Okay. Every day. Breakfast joint. <sighs> you ever go out for breakfast? I heaven? love Pal's Chenarounds. So good with I the know. fry seasoning. Have you tried that? Mm -hmm. So good. They can you can get a grill salt on them too, which is what they really? put on their burger. Mm -hmm. It's a different. It's kind of a little. So salt. you have to ask mm -hmm. for that. I'll yep. Ask. Say I'd like grill salt on them. Yeah. I'll try that one time. Pancake Pancake House in Jonesboro. Old mm -hmm. Pancake yep. House. That's such a good spot. I really miss the Red Rooster that was out in Sulphur Springs. Oh, I never heard of that. Oh, it was it was insane. It yeah. was just in the in a house. They were very seasonal. They were Thursday, Friday, Saturday every week. And they had this French toast. And the first time I went, they were like one or two slices. I was like, two? Like, I don't want just one slice of French toast. Right. I'm thinking but Wonder came, Bread thin and like this square. Yeah, and, it came out this thick. Oh, he's got like and two I inches took of. a whole slice home. Mm. That's amazing. They were like, that's all I ask. Yeah. I was like, it was so good. But that's, yeah, Old Town Pancake House right now is my favorite. One of my friends just introduced me to the Milligan Bake Cafe over off of Milligan Highway on the right. And we had I lunch there, and it was kind of like a meat and three. It mm -hmm. had like um, steak and gravy, mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. country vegetables, yep. that kind of deal. And he, but they have a huge breakfast menu. It's massive. So I'd tell you to check that one out. If For I sure. was going to go sit down and eat, though, it'd be Maple Street Biscuit, hands down. Mm -hmm. Ken good. Rock is a good friend of mine. We meet mm -hmm. over there frequently, and I love it. That's where our old office we used to be at Keller Williams. Oh, so yeah. I'll sit at a table where, where my desk was and just that's, reminisce. That's nice. Five and dime. Yeah, it is. I, I can't believe mm -hmm. you can eat that. 
Oh, yeah. My 18 year old or 17 year old, soon to be 18, will knock down the five and dime. And I'm like, you, that's got to be. I'm quality control. I train for this. You must work your tail off. Because I'm going, Christian, that's probably like 2,500 calories in a biscuit. I mean, it's huge probably. and it's massive and so just good. covered in gravy and goodness. And yes, so that's a great one. Mm -hmm. They're awesome people over there, too. They've yes, got a they great are. team. Well, thank you guys so much thanks, for coming guys. on the podcast. Yeah. And thank you for my cupcakes. I was joking cool. earlier, and I'm super glad that you did this. And great. Um, I'm hoping to yeah watch you guys continue to grow, continue to just show off Johnson City as you go all across the country on these mm -hmm. baking shows. Maybe you should have a local baking like show. We could. We have, we have talks of that. Yeah, uh -huh. so that could be something that we have up our Ooh, sleeves. And maybe you need like Mitch and I to come judge yeah. a little bit, or Carly and I could come judge. We could be judges. And um, that sounds great. I'm let's get that on the books. For that. Yes. Got that. All right, let's make that happen. Maybe June, that'd mm -hmm. be good. July, somewhere time. in there. August, yeah. we can do it in the fall. In the fall is perfect s'mores cupcakes and stuff we can figure it out but anyway mm -hmm. thank you so much thank it was you. a pleasure getting to know you i hope you guys really enjoyed getting to know timmy and angela they just seem like the best people ever so come on downtown order a cake online come get a cupcake come get some ice cream just check out our downtown it's fantastic because of fantastic people like these folks if you want to move to johnson city call me i'd love to connect you with a beautiful house. Your family will love it. We've helped thousands of people buy and sell houses. If you guys want to invest in real estate at some point, we'd love to help you do that too. Um, and we manage property. So yeah, you got yeah. you're making all this cake money. You need to put it into real estate. There somewhere. we go. Let's do it. You can't just have it floating around in the cake shop. So anyway, thanks so much. And until next time, have a great day. Great. Thank, Thank you, you so much.